only on NBC. Finally, tonight, as we honor those who have served this country tomorrow on Veterans Day, it's important to remember the tough time many veterans have transitioning back into civilian life. Now, as our Stephanie Gosk reports, a new program is helping some women veterans get back on course. The game of golf. Sometimes great. Good, Judy. Right. But mostly madness. Yeah, that's it. Oh, oh my God. How is that fun? <laughs> Because we're doing it all together. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And I'm not sitting in, in my house alone all day, every day. Yep. Which was exactly what war veteran Judy Salerson did when she returned from Iraq, struggling with wow. PTSD. The flashbacks, it, it just, I, f I just felt like I couldn't go anywhere because I was afraid someone would see and judge me. All right. Until she met former pro Renee Powell, who started the first okay. Okay. female chapter of the PGA's veteran yeah. program yeah. called nice. Hope. But good. I think there needs to be more support for women veterans. Every week when the weather is warm, female veterans who served in conflicts from Vietnam to Afghanistan grab their clubs and hit this course in East Canton, Ohio. Golf is so therapeutic. Calm. And very well, calm, no, but, but, yeah, very, <laughs> but very calming, very therapeutic. You're out with nature. So it's very spiritual, too. Powell's father, a World War II veteran himself, started this course in 1946. He's the one that taught me the game of golf. So I'm able to teach them. Finish on your left side. Powell teaches each player that golf is a game of patience, a metaphor Christian Turner says for adjusting back into civilian oh. life. You have to be very patient. You have to be very understanding. You have to take a step back, look at the grand scheme of things. Playing the weekly round with women who hurry, share similar hurry, stories hurry. helps. Oh. Well, when you are tearing it up out here together, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> and you can celebrate each other together. Yes. Yeah. Tearing it up is good or bad? It's bad. Okay. <laughs> the camaraderie makes that rare perfect shot oh, my word. even sweeter. <laughs> Yes. Stephanie Gosk, NBC News, East Canton, Ohio. That's NBC Nightly News for this Sunday. Brian Williams will be here tomorrow. Coming up next, football night in America, followed by the Saints versus the Cowboys. I'm Lester Holt reporting from New York for all of us here at NBC News. Good night.